Here we are, 6.42 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3-8-2012. 6.08 was that nice knife hook low of that support level on the Google. That was quite a movement right here in the first 15 minutes. So, as they do approach their exhaustion price highs, and even if they go up slightly there above, look for that immediate reversal bar. And this is the Google chart right here, okay? The one behind it here is the Apple move on that open and that consolidation. There's that gap. Uh, look for a lot lower prices as we go through the day on Apple on the opening bell. Remember, you've got the first uh, 12 minutes of that open uh, in the marketplace, and that's how they're faring. You also have the Dow up 72 handles, NASDAQ 100 up 18, NASDAQ Comp, look at that, up 21.72, and S&P 500, 13.63, up 10.41 handles. That is how this 15 minutes, we're two minutes away from the 15 minute opening bell, MMT. Another one that we would like to feature with you um, will be the MasterCard trade with the higher volatility of hitting that reversal resistance right there on that high in that 15 minute. Let this be the reversal bars and the other names you're watching. MMT is going to be looking for the same reversal and those diamond reversals. That's on the opening bell with MasterCard. Um, the... Netflix trade uh, made its high reversal, Mr. Gibson. With that lower handle uh, right out of the gate, as it was, to that reversal. So you can see here uh, where that teeny support was, but you can also see that one teeny, two teeny, three teeny, four teeny but you got past it and almost there's that fifth one there's that reversal on how to sell short these are confirmation bars that you have to have mmt plus here we are with intuitive surgical isrg um 27 cents a teeny line it looks like um very light volume keep watching it as the day progresses for the reversals um isrg is printing at 611 and there was your reversal markets remain elevated here is some of the gap open list you had that uh, uh, gap open list right here EDC had a 5.0 gap open dollar range the RUSL is another one we have UDOW MMT we, so that was your gap open list. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to go into over the counter into the primary session. And we're going to take a look and see what that gap open was on some of these. Uh, you can see that MDVN, which we cover, had a $7.31 gap. Price line started its opening gap at 5.83. Apple had the $4 gap. Google had only a 3.24 gap. The ISRG was 2.85. And we have that GOLD gold back in the spotlight with the 2.83 gap. So, Sina and Badu both are tradable intraday and shorting up on those highs. And Badu had a 2.20 gap and the Sina, both uh, Chinese ADRs. Okay, the bull gap today, the TQQQ, was a dollar seventy-three. As far as Nasdaq goes, wind was gapping up there, so you know. It's very important to know where your gap columns are, uh, as far as your dollar ratio reversals. The SOXS is something that uh, MMTs need to be watching. That's a SOX uh, semiconductor. Uh, bear and what do I mean by that is when you take a look at how far and how fast it's ran here is the it's a bear and you want to be able to look at where these highs were up here on the SOXS now when you take a look 
at where this bear was originally back in calendar 2011, it's been building what we call a lower base because it has. And you can clearly see that it rallied on up to these highs, which was shortable. But remember, it says it's a Philadelphia semiconductors and semiconductors had led the rally. And you have to know when to buy these things, but you have to know when to sell them. And it's going to pull back to the daily moving averages. Keep your eye moving forward on the SOX, S bear, 3X bear. Here's that update on that short on Apple right now. It's down from that peak. So basically, gap open up, sell short reversal. 15, uh, 20 minutes have uh, gone by. As I said, this short is live right now as it should be and as is and once again when we had got to the interday highs on apple yesterday and today and a couple few other days is that apple even though it's the greatest company in the world needs to come down in price and getting that short and shaking these buyers out is what needs to happen as it is right now live okay and here's your first support level yesterday's short right here right here where my pointer is and you got a 16 ir and you're hit a 0.36 okay so that was five dollars and 20 pennies that was 5.75 pennies at 91 cents and that's that gap that's that so when you're shorting that you're making 100 percent right now as far as the dollar drop value and we'll find out where it wants to get support down in here as we approach the 30 minute bell mmt's that's that sell short you run up bull exhaustion you come all the way back down and this is where that amazon short how nice delta resistance right back up to yesterday's high did the very same thing and did the very same trade selling the bull exhaustion gap how to sell gaps in a 30 minute opening bell you how do i take that hourly opening bell and how do i sell short and buy cover to go along as we do here and taking those teeny movements one teeny two teeny three teeny four teeny working on five teenies with a double bot at play at that resistance so we're headed right back up mmt's uh shake it down that's how bull bull exhaustion works get net long right through this area and sell right into that teeny line resistance that is a one two three four five teeny script right to the penny gotta tell you uh yes it's only 19 cents a, a teeny today on amazon and those are your directional movements for the short and the long and there's the update there it is oh what else okay what about you uh mr gibson you're in a sideways hack with that netflix so here netflix is a you got a little bit it's just a sideways hack right now Look at that resistance is up there. You know what I would do if I were you? Just in case they bid pop it, I'd keep a damn order out up there at about 107.40 in case you got a flash. Is that right? Nice. That's what you do on a flash. But this thing is going to start to get weak in there. Use your diamond skills. Is that right? There it is. 55 532.5 high 532 now watch that 530 call watch the lower high reversals let them set up let them bring it to you say bring it to me say bring it to me and this one here is exactly what they did for you because you see what you're looking for is that you have to come back down to get long you'd, you'd rather be down here around that 527 handle 
So what we're going to look for is this top-down reversal that we've been doing every day in Apple. Opening bell. This is what it's all about. Why we sell short. Why that IR is at zero. Why that uh, 0.36, it's at 0.11. If this continues to go lower, then we'll continue to sell down where we'll get net long off of the bottom. We're still short now. Okay, everyone. And it's 716, so we're, you know, 46 minutes into this opening bell in the first hour. And selling exhaustion gap, it's still coming down. We're going to see exactly where we land. We'll buy to go long, get out of the short, buy to cover and go long. This is another update, once again, on how to short exhaustion gaps. Here we go. Right now, we're going four minutes into the lunch hour, and we've made a series of breakout highs. Here's the last three six, continuing to move at 0.41. This is that Apple breakout that we talk about and how they do break higher. And you can continuously see how strong that name is and how them diamonds keep going up to that next area of resistance in a high frequency model. And this is live, and this is that breakout bar, and this is where people get in up at the high, 0.43. You continue to make ratio highs here, okay? You continue to make ratio highs here. You're at highs and continue to make a series of ratio highs, 0.43, almost a half a delta range. There is a little pullback. This is time to sell. Once again, it was the opening bell in little pieces later on, 8.57 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Apple Computer. Once again, taking Apple Computer all the way up here to 537.93 is a half delta, okay? And that's at 91 cents a teeny. It's thromboning on 100, so each one of these lines are 91 cents. And you can clearly see from this breakout phase to that was one teeny at 91 pennies today. And we're breaking that higher. And we're thromboning at 98, 99, 100. We continue to go up to 0 0.45, headed toward the one half delta. Teenies 7.16 high, 7.11 right now at the moment. And we continue to break out of, of a uh, resistance area. Okay, and you're right up to the next resistance area. This is where you would be selling the other half of what you own as far as your shares go. So you know how to limit out at the highs. 